Welcome to the Abiding Word broadcast. Hello and welcome to the Abiding Word broadcast. This is Evangelist Dudley Smith, your host. I'm so happy and thrilled that you've joined us for today's broadcast. I know that you're going to be blessed by our anointed music, plus encouraged and edified by the preaching and teaching of the Word of God. And at the end of the program, we're going to be praying a special prayer of faith just for you. So stay right there. We're going to be right back right after this. I remember back in the late 60s and 70s, I played music for a local gospel group. I thank God for that musical experience. We here at Dudley Smith Ministries decided to record some of those great old songs and make them available to you on our CD, Old School Gospel. You will certainly enjoy songs like Hold to His Hand, He's Sweet I Know, He'll Say Well Done, and so much more. Go to our website at www.dudleysmithonline.net to get a physical or digital copy of Old School Gospel. Your copy is waiting now.
blessed be the Savior, <laughs> hallelujah, and let his glory roll. I sing a song uh, uh, that says that. Praise God. Glory to God. I hope you're having a wonderful day in the Lord. Praise God. We're so glad to have you with us on today's broadcast. Praise the name of Jesus. We're in the middle of our teaching series on the flesh and the spirit. Glory to God. And uh, oh, we've gotten just a little bit over halfway with this. Glory to God. Praise God. In our last session, we talked about the spirit of love, the fruit of love. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. And we're going to be talking about uh, the fruit of joy or the characteristic of joy. Praise God. But let's read our base scripture. Faith, uh, glory. Uh, coming out of Galatians chapter 20, uh, uh, chapter 5, rather, verses 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Praise the name of Jesus. As we read in Galatians 5.22, glory to God, we see that uh, the Word of God mentions the aspect of joy. Glory to God. The fruit of the Spirit in involves having joy or the experience of joy. Hallelujah to God. We understand and we know, praise God, that joy is a part of the kingdom of God. Joy is a part of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I want you to note uh, the relationship between uh, the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit uh, and joy. And there are several uh, passages that speak to this in the Word of God. And maybe we'll look at a couple <clears throat> of them. Pardon me. Look at a couple of them. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah to God. We understand that again, as I said, that joy is a part of the kingdom of God, of God rather. In Romans chapter 14, verse 17, this scripture comes to mind. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of God. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You see, the kingdom of God and those which call ourselves and say and profess that Jesus is Lord and that we are part of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We should possess a joy, glory to God, that only the Spirit can give, that only uh, uh, the, the, the Spirit can birth in us. Hallelujah to God. You can have uh, uh, earthly joy or worldly joy, even fleshly joy. Those things last for a season. But the joy that the Spirit of the Lord produces in our life is everlasting and can be everlasting. And this is the kingdom of God. In other words, how do you know kingdom people? They are joyful. Praise God. They are joyful. They are happy. Glory to God. They got a smile on their face. They, they are very optimistic people. Hallelujah, not pessimistic people. Don't you just hate being around sad Christians? Don't you just hate being around people that are always down in the mully grub, always complaining, never got anything good to say? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who wants to be around those kind of people? You know when we get to heaven, there's going to be joy. Hallelujah to God. There's going to be everlasting joy. Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that happy is the people whose God is the Lord. Are you happy today? You can be happy. Just let the Spirit of God, hallelujah, burst forth in your life, hallelujah, and let watch joy begin to take place. You know, we got a lot to be thankful for. We got a lot to be joyful for. Bless Jesus. We have a lot uh, uh, to, to, to praise Him for. Glory to God, to magnify Him, to glorify the Lord. And so there is no real reason for us who are saved and born again to have our head down in the mud. Glory to God. You know, we go through this life. We drag ourselves through the dirt uh, and the dust. Glory to God. And we act like we have no friend in the world. Glory to God. But the song comes to mind. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. And if you know that Jesus is really your friend, Glory to God. He's your friend and he's my friend. Then we can have joy. Glory to God. Joy unspeakable and full 
of glory. Hallelujah to God. And so we understand, and we at least I want to get you to understand, that being a part of the kingdom of God, God hallelujah to God, you will exhibit joy. You will exhibit happiness. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. You'll be uh, happy all the time. Glory to God uh, forevermore. Hallelujah to God. Now, there's a scripture in the, another scripture in the Bible we want to look at. Glory to God. Out of 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 1, verse 6. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6 says this. And ye became followers of us and, and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. With joy of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. You receive the, 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 the word in much affliction. You know, people, they don't like and cater too much, particularly today, to the word of God. Folk hate the Bible. The world hates God's word. Glory to God. But we receive God's word, although we receive it in much disdain. We receive it with the disapproval of the world. But we receive it. We live by it. We walk by it. Praise the name of God. But the scripture goes on to say we do it with joy, with the joy of the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of God. God's spirit, the Holy Spirit, loves his own word. He joy, He joys in his own word. He glories in his own word. Bless the name of God. And if we receive the word of God, we can glory in the word of God with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And now, so we see that we receive the word. We see God uh, doing uh, his great things and wondrous works in our life. Hallelujah. God. We are glad about it. Praise Jesus. We are glad about, aren't you glad you're saved? Aren't you glad you're born again? Aren't you glad your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life? Glory to God. I, 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 my mind goes back to <clears throat> a particular story in the Bible where uh, the disciples had gone out. Uh, glory to God. And they went out with power, praise God, and they came back and they were rejoicing uh, glory to God over the power that God had given them, that Christ had bestowed upon them. Glory to God. And they came back saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us. Praise God. You know what Jesus uh, responded saying? Glory to God. I know that the devil is rejoicing, is, is, is subject unto you. I saw him fall from heaven like lightning. Glory to God. He says, but rather than having joy in that, Praise God. The joy you are exhibiting, glory to God, uh, 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 be glad that your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life. You ought to be glad you're saved more than anything because your destiny was not heaven as you came into this world. Glory to God. You had a different destiny, but God, through Jesus, redeemed your life. Praise the name of Jesus. And now your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life. Glory to God. And so that's the reason why you should, number one, have joy in your life. Be glad then, the Bible says. Hallelujah. For God shall do wondrous things, great and mighty things uh, in your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The, 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 the joy of the Lord, glory to God, is an, an abiding joy. What's an abiding joy? An abiding joy, glory to God, is a joy that never ends. Praise God. Glory to God. When something abides, it stays. Glory to God. It homesteads, praise God, in a fixed position. When you have abiding joy in your life, it has set up a homestead. It stays. It never wanes. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. It's expressible and it is full of glory. Hallelujah. First Peter, glory to God, uh, chapter one, verses six, seven and eight gives us this scripture. Read along with me. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, th uh, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. 
that the trial, uh, the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and glory and honor at the appearing of Jesus, whom having not seen you love, though now you see him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah to God. Have you ever anticipated something so much that every time you thought about it, it brought joy to your heart? When we were kids, glory to God, and we were uh, uh, coming up on the Christmas season, and uh, we were uh, thinking about the gifts and the presents that we may receive on Christmas morning, glory to God, at the thought of it, we had joy, we had gladness, just at the very thought of it, praise the name of God. We didn't know that the icon of, of commercial Christmas was not a real person. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. We just know, hallelujah, that it was going to be a day of joy. It was going to be a day of gladness. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, don't you know, praise God, that in Jesus Christ, hallelujah to God, that one day he's going to appear, praise God, and those of us that have not ever seen him, yet we believe in him, praise God, we're going to see him, praise the name of God, hallelujah to God, and we will rejoice even greatly, praise God, glory to God, why? Because we believe in him, I believe in him, I hope you are uh, believing and trusting in the Lord as your Savior, Praise God. The Bible says we have joy unspeakable. Can you imagine how much joy that is? That you are speechless, speechless joy. Glory to God forevermore. Hallelujah to God. You don't find people with that kind of joy uh, uh, much. Glory to God. Speechless joy. Always got a smile on their face. Always got a, 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 a very uh, engaging disposition. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah to God. Joy unspeakable and full, hallelujah to God, of glory, full of the goodness and the good works of the Lord, hallelujah to God. This is what we have to bring ourselves to, hallelujah to God, the, uh, and glory to God, to live that kind of life, glory to God. I want God's joy full in my life. Now, I understand this, that it comes by living and walking after the Spirit. That's how it comes, walking after the Spirit. You can't get this on your own. You'll miss it every time. It comes by walking after the Spirit and not the flesh. Praise God. It comes by adhering to the things of God. Hallelujah. By being a glad after his word. Praise God. Hallelujah. By being a, 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 a happy to be in his presence. Glory to God. To have the presence of the Lord. It comes, praise God, when we give ourselves to the lifestyle of spiritual walk. Hallelujah. According to the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. He fills us with joy. When the fruit of the Spirit is produced, hallelujah, joy comes out of it. It's an ingredient of the fruit of the Spirit. It's a part of the molecular structure, so to speak. The spiritual molecular structure of the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Praise the name of God. Praise God. You know, when you think about fruit, you think about something that you consume. You think about something that you eat. Hallelujah to God. When you put something in your mouth and your taste buds gets to uh, experience, uh, experiencing, hallelujah to God, uh, 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 the act of eating, glory to God. Many times we say, well, it tastes like, and it tastes like, and it tastes like, and it tastes like. That's the fruit of the spirit. How does it taste in your life? How does it taste in your mouth? Praise God. It should taste like love and it should taste like joy. Oh, come on, somebody. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. David said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Does the Lord, does the fruit of God's spirit taste good to your spirit? Hallelujah to God. Praise God. It should taste like joy. It should give you a reaction of joy. Praise 
the name of Jesus, hallelujah to God. And when we ingest and when we ingest and walk after the fruit of the spirit, glory to God, we experience joy, hallelujah. Joy comes with a confidence, uh, hallelujah, in God, our confidence, uh, our faith in God. Praise the name of Jesus in, in uh, uh, Philippians chapter 1, 25, glory to God. The word gives us this. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you for all your furtherance and joy of faith. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, without faith in God and Christ, we cannot experience, experience, experience rather, I'll get it out, uh, the uh, uh, God's abiding joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith must be there. You have got to have faith hallelujah as you walk with god as you live for god praise god you're in the kingdom have faith in the god of the kingdom hallelujah to god if you're in the kingdom praise god exhibit kingdom attitude exhibit kingdom lifestyle Praise the name of Jesus. Exhibit love and joy. Exhibit joy. You're in the kingdom. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. You did nothing to deserve to be in that except have faith in God through Jesus Christ by the works of the cross of Calvary brought you into the kingdom. Hallelujah to God. And so you can have joy, inexplicable, un. Speakable, hallelujah to God, glory to God, that you cannot even express sometimes the way you feel about it, hallelujah. We used to sing a song in the old days, glory to God, that said, uh, that said this, what do you think about Jesus? And, 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 and we would uh, uh, answer by saying, singing, he's all right. He's all right with me and he ought to be all right with you. Glory to God. That's how that's an expression of joy. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. God. It is good to be how good and, and perfect blessed it is for brethren to come and dwell together. We ought to have a joy to be with each other. We should have a joy. Praise God to experience. Hallelujah. This life together. Brother saves sister saved. Praise the name of God. A part of the a congregation, a part of the church of the living God. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We are called, glory to God, to walk in and experience the abiding joy of the Lord. Glory to God. And when you walk after the spirit and not after the flesh, praise God, you're going to experience that joy. Hallelujah. When faith in God is, is vibrant and working, glory to God, you cannot help but experience this uh, abiding joy. Glory to God forevermore. Glory to God. This kind of joy sustains us in life. It sustains us. Glory to God. It helps us to maintain. It helps us to go on. When we get to those moments where it seems like uh, uh, the, the trials and temptations that come our way, glory to God, makes us want to turn our back and, 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 and give up and throw up our hand. Hallelujah to God. The joy of the Lord, the joy in the spirit, the joy that comes by the Holy Spirit. God's abiding joy. Hallelujah. Picks us up. Glory to God. Glory to God. Encourages us. Keeps us encouraged. Hallelujah to God. My Lord, it's nothing like being encouraged in the Lord. Or it's nothing like being uh, uh, encouraged because of the promises of God. You can have joy. Praise God. And people may not understand why you still have joy. You're going through something. You're facing something in your life. But out of all of the trial and the tribulation and the hard way that you may be experiencing right now, there's a joy on the inside of you that is waiting to burst forth. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. My, my quest today, uh, uh, my focus today, my intentions today, praise God, is that uh, 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 the joy of the Lord would be awakened in your life. Hallelujah to God. Realize that you are walking after the spirit. And as you do, uh, glory, the joy of the Lord, praise God, is ever present. Glory to God forevermore. 
You see, when you got joy, hallelujah to God, you have everything, hallelujah, that sustain you. Faith and joy and love. Bless the name of Jesus. Nehemiah said it this way. Then he said to them, go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet and send portions unto them to have nothing uh, is prepared for this they the, the ho uh, is holy unto the Lord. Neither be sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah to God. It's the joy of the Lord that is our strength. Praise the name of you. I got to stop right here. Glory to God forevermore. I thank you for joining me, uh, for joining us today. Glory to God. And come back again. Glory to God for another edition of the Abiding Word. God bless you. And we'll see you again. I was in the study the other day. And I came across one of our Bible study manuscripts titled, Growing in the Character of Christ. I believe this book will be a blessing to you and certainly help you grow. You'll cover such subjects as building on your faith, striving for excellence, pleasing God, and much, much more. From Bible student to Bible teacher, you'll want to get your hands on this material. Go to our website at www. Dot dudleysmith.net and click the ministry bookstore tab and make your purchase today. Growing in the character of Christ will help you get to that next level in your walk with God. The DSM Broadcast Network programs are blessing millions around the world and we would love for you to be a part of our media audience. There is so much music and ministry available 24 hours per day, seven days a week, that will bless your heart and keep you inspired. Go to www.dudleysmithonline.net and click the DSM Media tab to watch our streaming TV broadcasts or listen to our radio station. Join the millions who tune in each day, whose lives are always blessed. We'll see you there. Well, as time has come and gone for today's program, we want to take a moment to pray a special prayer of faith just for you. Believe God. Jesus is ready to meet your need right now. Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you for the provision of healing and deliverance that you made at Calvary, God. And Lord, we ask God, Lord, for those that need a healing, Father, that your healing virtue would flow from Calvary right now, Father. Touch and heal their body, God. Those that need deliverance, Father, Lord, uh, set the captives free right now in the name of Jesus. We command the devil to loose God's people and let them go. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you for victory in their life. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, if this program has been a blessing to your life in any way, we would like to hear uh, from you. You can email us at DudleySmith at BellSouth.net. That's Dudley Smith at BellSouth.net. You can also write us at Dudley Smith Ministries, P.O. Box 11239, Goldsboro, North Carolina, 27532. That's P.O. Box 11239, Goldsboro, North Carolina, 27532. Now, don't forget, any of our music and books that are advertised on this program can be purchased from our website at www.dudleysmith.net. I look forward to seeing you again on another edition of The Abiding Word. God bless you, and we love you much.